One of the most well-known couples in the world, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, are coming to Queensland next month. The royal duo will take a day trip to the picturesque Fraser Coast as part of a whirlwind tour to coincide with the Invictus Games. The World Heritage listed Fraser Island is a local tourism mecca that's about to get international attention. It's really exciting. I think they'd love it here. It's, um, it is picture perfect, beautiful. It'll be uh, very interesting what the Royals think of our island and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy it. It'd be unreal. The tourism would be so good. One of the world's most high profile couples will tour the magical part of Queensland next month. Um, I'm absolutely delighted um, having uh, written to uh, Prince Harry and Meghan that they are actually coming to Queensland. It's a huge coup for Queensland. Harry and his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, will be in Australia for the Prince's Invictus Games. Their itinerary will take them between Sydney, rural New South Wales, Melbourne and the Fraser Coast. In Queensland, they'll inspect the newly completed Queen's Canopy Project, an initiative to restore forests of the Commonwealth. The last royal visit to Fraser Island was from Prince Charles in 1994, who also toured the natural forest wonder. Although the Sunshine State failed to live up to its name. The Prince has plenty of loyal supporters. Hundreds braved teeming rain to send the Prince off from Harvey Bay. Local businesses are banking on a big tourism return. It's going to be great uh, for the world to get a chance to have a look at our little piece of paradise here on Fraser Island. The couple is also expected to meet with drought affected farmers in Dubbo in rural New South Wales. Locals already have some right royal recommendations. Oh, they should definitely come to the zoo and come grab a coffee. We also have the wonderful Dubbo Regional Botanic Gardens. We have the old Dubbo Jail. The Royals will touch down in Australia next month with Queensland's visit on October the 22nd. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.